So I haven't done a ch chicken video lately. We are in the middle of winter. Well, actually it's, it's March 2nd or 3rd, I don't know. I, uh, I ended up, we have 25 chickens still. It's been a pretty good winter. I feed them crumble, 16% protein. I have two feeders for them. And I feed them continuously. I don't feed them once a day or twice a day or whatever. I also have a, a heated bottom waterer, which has been wonderful. Last night it went down to 14 degrees. And no problem. They got plenty of water. I am still getting between... If they got a bad day, 13 eggs. On a good day, I'm getting like 22 eggs. Uh, I'm going with the, the deep bedding method. And I'm in the coop right now, and it doesn't smell too bad. The other day it smelled uh, like ammonia. And I went and I bought some diatomaceous earth, and I spread it around the chicken coop today and I put new bedding down. So I'm gonna say right now, this bedding is probably six to eight inches deep and it is over top of linoleum. In some spots underneath there, it's probably 12 inches deep, but it, it doesn't smell at all. I'm sure that's gonna change at some point. But I put new bedding down probably every two weeks, maybe every three weeks but they really like it. They roll around in it. You can see, I just put it down. So we have, I have no heat out here. And everything's been good. They all get along. I've had no problem with disease. I've had no problem with uh, fighting. We have no roosters, which I'm glad about. Everything seems to be working out fine. The yard that they uh, like to go in, on the other hand, is still covered under a bunch of snow. I don't even know if you can see this through there. I have the netting up. And they push that straw out there, so they go out a little bit. They did that all on their own. But there's still probably 8 to 12 inches of snow out there in their yard where they they like to go around. So they're not happy about that. I don't know if you can see way down there in the distance my beehive. We are going to expand that and do a little bit better job this year. We lost our bees. But this is about the chickens. We like just to give you an idea, this is one day's haul. This is just what we got today. Look at the different colors. Blue, white different shades of brown. We do pretty good. And they are delicious. They are just fantastic. So That's all I got. I thought I'd just post a quick video on the update on the chickens. Everybody's doing good. We're doing the deep litter method. And they seem to like the new litter. Smash up that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you updated as we go on. We have no plans to get any more chickens. I think this is our number. 25 seems to be the number. But I do have this, this wall. I don't know if you can see the, the netting there, the netting there, and I have a door. If we do get more chickens to integrate them, I, I have a separate section, but most of the chickens, I wanna say out of 25, I think 18 of them go up on this roosting bar at night. They love the high bar. So. All right. Give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right. There's one more thing I'm going to do before I leave, but I figured I'd show you this. Look at them rolling around in the new, uh, the new bedding. They love it. But my local feed store... 
makes their own version of a, of a bird seed mixture that I give to them. And I, I just wanted to show you how much they like it. I, I mean, it's incredible. When I come in here and, and give them this, you, you would think that I'm, well, I'm sure I'm their favorite person. They don't even care. I could feed them. Throw it back there. I mean, they go for it. It's crazy. And I, I would walk back to my house and bring, like, water back to them or something. And this stuff's gone. It's just like a songbird mixture, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's good for them or bad for them. I, I really don't care. They, they genuinely seem very, very happy when I give this to them. And it is absolutely gone. And one of these little bags lasts about as long as their, their, their food bag through here. So they're still getting all their nutrients and what they need to lay the eggs. And we're still getting a bunch of eggs. And our eggs are wonderful. So I know I'm not doing anything to damage my chickens. But I'm telling you, they love this. And this also helps. So I put the diatomaceous earth down. Like they're pecking and it, it helps to stir things up and mix things up so i know there's a lot of different things out there on how to take care of chickens and what to do but my, my chickens seem to be healthy and happy and they don't they're not aggressive you can see i'm in here and there is nobody pecking at my feet we have friendly chickens and we have a diverse group so i'm very happy with how we did this And no heat lamp. 14 degree temperatures. And look at them. They're not cold at all. I am. But they're not. So. Thanks for watching. Any comments as long as they're good. Are appreciated. Smash up that like button. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so I wasn't going to post this part, but... I actually fell on my ass twice coming out to the chicken coop today and I took some of the old bedding and put it down so I'd have traction but I was just coming back in and, and I'll, I'll post the video as proof like I stopped right here and I slipped on that ice right there went right down crazy not real happy about it but you know that just happens I think uh I don't know. I'm going to put a complaint in with my snow removal person. Which is me and my wife. I think my wife would have came out here and complained about this. It would have done a little bit better job, but she didn't. So right there, I fell on my butt twice. It hurt. Watch this next video. Thanks. Yeah, I thought I was done, but I want to show you guys... My local feed store has this, this mixture. They call it a, I don't know, a bird seed mixture. 